what is up guys JPR Tech here and today I want to talk to you about clip filters I got recently I purchased an ND clip filter from STC they're an optical company that are really focused on optics and chemicals and things like that all sorts of filters I checked out their site and it was pretty legit they had a lot of good filters there and the one I was really interested in is the clip one the one that sits on top of the sensor and it's just right there between the glass your lens and the camera I know it sounds scary but after testing and seeing how well snug it fits in there it just fits right inside the camera yeah I grew accustomed to it so now I'm not really scared of that filter going anywhere and that area is so tight where right? after you put the lens in yeah I'm, I'm not I don't think that filter is gonna move around or rotate there's no place to go you're probably wondering why go with a clip filter as opposed to a conventional uh, screw thread filter that you screw it on the front of the lens well one of the main reasons is because well, actually there are a lot of advantages uh, with the clip filter you're not putting glass on top of the uh, lens so that prevents or helps avoid um, the color shift that they say with ultra wide lens you have that effect other thing is you can avoid the vignetting the x vignetting pattern that some of these cheap variable ND filters have also you save time I don't have to keep switching my filter around my different lenses that I have and especially considering that all my lenses have different thread size and again it's a hassle to have to get step up rings and I still have to switch my filter around the various lenses forget it one filter for all my lenses keeping in mind that there are some lenses out there that don't take any filters at all like my Sigma 15 to 35 it doesn't have any screw thread when I do shoot Esla with the Sigma lens outside, I'm like at Aperture F22, which I know my image does suffer from this fraction, it's a little fuzzy. And also, I have to shoot like a, the shutter speed of a 300 or something like that, which makes uh, my videos a little jittery. It's ridiculous. So I'm really happy with the videos, how they're turning out now with an ND filter. So it's really cool, like any lens that I put on my camera will have ND filter really nice now I wish I could shoot some more but the weather's been so terrible here in Japan this past few weeks so later on another video I will post more videos more shots and side-by-side -side comparison so we could really see if there is a loss of quality using this ND filter also I want to compare with stills as well I have another video too that I want to post. I want to show you guys if you guys end up getting a clip filter like this, how to install it, apply it in your camera, and remove it properly. Now, thank you for watching. Let's roll the clips. Alright guys, so what do you guys think? Leave your comments down on the comment section below. And yeah, personally, I'm really satisfied with what I'm seeing. Seems pretty legit. I like the build quality. It's, it's a pretty good lens. And I can't wait to test it some more out in a sunny day. Well, thank you for watching. And I hope I see you guys on the next video. Matane!